Audio Memoir Part 10. I have recounted how I was forced to help Oberfuhrer von Liszt and his Devarheit Battalion. We are almost at the end of my tale. Those final days before von Liszt first raised the dead were a terrifying blur. Mass graves exhumed, piles of bodies choking the streets, and all through it, von Liszt was talking to himself in the next room. Except I knew he was not alone. The thing that took root in him, the demon lord that empowered and advised him, I knew it was twisting what remained of his soul. I distracted myself by rereading that final letter from Sasha. But it was so cold, so formal. Somehow, they had extinguished my spouse's inner warmth. And now, they would do the same to the world. My only hope was that my distress call would be answered. I did not know if anyone received it or if they would bother to respond. But, even then, my new allies were on their way. There would be a reckoning. Kraft, memoir entry number 11. On the day he finally raised the dead, von Liszt paid me a visit. He came to my little room, wearing his dress uniform, coat draped around his shoulders. <laughs> You would have thought he was going to dinner with his vile Führer. He seemed giddy. The big moment was upon us, his troops waiting outside by heaps of frozen corpses. So I summoned what little courage I have and asked if he had come to kill me. He looked at me the way one might look at a pet, then reached out from under his coat. I saw he was holding a blank notebook. He wanted me at my window, recording the moment. He would let me live to see the hell I helped him unleash. He was amused by how that sickened me. And so I watched him march out among his men and raise his arms. I saw the containment spell go up. I watched the wretched dead awaken. I thought all was lost. And then my radio crackled. It was my new allies who had gotten in just before the red curtain of runes cut off the city from the outside world. And once again, hope entered my heart. Professor Gabriel Kraft, Entry 12. I shall never forget the moment I first saw the Allied soldiers who responded to my distress call. They had reached Stalingrad just before Cortefex's rune magic sealed off the city. But my would-be rescuers were trapped with an army of revenants. I realized immediately that there was only one way to help them. Von Liszt had used the scepter of Cortefex to gain his power, but I still had four other artifacts in a crate. I guided the squad of Allied soldiers closer to my location, careful to skirt areas where I knew there were Devarheit troops. With a rope, I lowered the artifact crate down to them. I told them it held munitions that could stop Von Liszt. When they laid hands on the objects inside, I heard them cry out in surprise. I knew that feeling, having briefly bonded with Belica myself. I then explained to these soldiers about their new demonic partners, and thus began our desperate alliance. I feel as though these men and women have come to trust me. I only hope when this is over, they will forgive me.